<laughs> I am not a immersive evangelist. It's not my role. What, what I do is try to give you guidelines to if you're going to make an immersive system, to make one that's going to work and achieve your goals and not ruin your other goals. So for me, the laws of physics still apply. The laws of human perception still apply. The acoustic realities, interactions of speakers, all those things still apply. So now you've decided you're going to be immersive. So here's the, the way that, here's the rules that you have to go by or the guidelines. I more like to look, look at them as guidelines than rules because nobody wants rules. It's a whole trade of cowboys. And so the, what you want to do now is, is if you're going to do this, these are some guidelines to help you succeed. So to me, I go back to the easiest thing to think of, okay? If we're going to make um, a successful system, the first thing it has to be is intelligible enough for people to understand the material. In the world of theater, they have to understand the words. In the world of house of worship, they have to understand the words. In the words of rock and roll, it's pretty helpful to understand the words, although uh, you know, a lot of times it's not sung with the kind of clarity, and that you know you can you can you can bend on that. But it is it is really helpful to have that. There's no upside to unintelligibility. But if you look at um, why we go and we don't have center mono center clusters all around the world doing all of our shows, it's because intelligibility isn't the only thing. We're willing to give up some of that perfection and the, you know, the absolute bestness of that approach in order to get some horizontal spread. And I think a big piece of it is that most people are born with two ears, two functioning ears, and you want to hear a horizontal panoramic spread because that tickles your brain in a really positive and engaging way to have things spread over a horizon. So left and right is here to stay. It's not going away, and people are willing to give up perfection and intelligibility to get that horizontal experience. So then it brings you to the next big like chunk, going to three channels, L, C, and R. The world of cinema crossed that road a long time ago, and they they were very troubled by, if you just go left and right, that as soon as you're one seat off the center, that you image to that side anything that's panned to the center. And it's an insolvable equation, no matter how much somebody tells you they've just invented a new magic filter that time smears and blah, blah, blah. Just, I don't want to hear about it. You sit on, you sit one seat off the center in an arena and everything mixed mono is on the left side. Okay, everybody knows this. We don't want to admit it, but everybody knows it. So the deal is that if you want this, the vocal or some center image to stay in the center, you need a center channel. That's why you have a dialogue channel, but you have to now not go and put everything in all three channels, where you can sort of put a lot of things in left and right, but when you start putting them in left, center, and right, now you got a problem, because they are going to have all sorts of fights, the correlated comb filter fights that we all know about, that, you, that my life's work is, is you know, screaming and putting up flags about this subject. So there's, once you go to this, you're gonna, you've crossed the line and now you need to take a decorrelation approach. And that is I gotta put different things in the center than I got, than I put in left and right. And if I'm gonna take that approach, that center channel has to reach all the seats. If it's gonna carry the big voice, the big star, the, the lead of the show, if it's going to be theatrical, it's going to carry the, the vocal content of the show. It can't just be a 90-degree speaker that covers one half of the room, which you can get away with on your left and on your right. So now you have a pretty hard and fast rule that if you're going to make a channel as a standalone to cover the whole room, it has to, A, cover the whole room. And that is the key thing. Once you've crossed to three, and you now you've got left, center, and right. Well, now the, the crossing over to adding surrounds and on your sides and on your rears and on your overhead, those are just more versions that follow a similar set of guidelines. 